Good day, class. I am Miss Daisy Ben Arandade, and I will be your teacher for today. Before we start our lesson, let us pray. Please kindly turn off all the microphone and open your camera. Okay, then let us watch this video from YouTube. God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here. For this day, be at my side to light and guard, to rule and guide me. Once again, good morning, class. Is everybody doing fine today? Yes, ma'am. Okay, that's good to hear. Now let us have an attendance to see who are present today. Please say present if your name is Gold. Palo Palo Maria May. Present. Matos Paula. Present, ma'am. Okay, thanks. Okay, very good. Everybody is present today. Okay, class, I have here a picture. Please pay attention and analyze it very carefully. I will be calling students after all you finish analyzing. So, class, what do you think will be our class topic today? Please press... The raise hand button if you want to answer. Okay, Miss Palopalo, what do you think will be our class today? Topic today. I think our topic today is all about the law of sign. Yes, that's right. Our topic for today is the law of sign. So, law of sign defines the ratio of sides of a triangle and their respective side angles are equivalent to each other. The other names of the law of sine are sine law, sine rule, and sine formula. The law of sine is used to find the unknown angle or the side of a triangle. The oblique triangle is defined as the law of sine should work with at least two angles and its respective side measurement at a time. Sine A over A is equal to sine B over B is equal to sine C over C. Given two angles and included side to find the unknown side. Case one. One side and two angles is known. So, Told the triangle ABC given A is equal to 10, where angle A is equal to 41 degree and angle C is equal to 75. So in finding the missing angle, we will be using this formula. B is equal to sine B is equal to A over sine A. Then B is equal to, in finding B, A sine B over sine A, where you have to substitute the value of side A, where, which is 10, and sine, then substitute the value of B over sine the value of angle C, which is equal to B angle B uh, side B is equal to 13.7 and in finding the side C 
C is equal C over sine C is equal to A over sine A, which leads to us that C is equal to A sine C over sine A, which we substitute the A with tan, which is the side A. That's seen. Substitute the value of angle C, which is 75 over sine A, which we substitute with the angle A, which is 41 degree. Then it would lead us to the side C, which is 14.7. Okay, let's proceed to the ambiguous case. When given SSA or two sides in an angle that is not included angle, the situation is ambiguous. The dimension in following example, the given angle will always be an angle A and the given side will be side A and B. If you are given a different side, or variables feel free to change them to simulate the step provided here. Single solution case as a A for the triangle in figure 6.5, A is equal to 22 inches, B is equal to 12 inches. And A Angle A is equal to 42 degree. Find the remaining side and angle. The solution here. By the law of sine, you have sine B over B is equal to sine A over A. Reciprocal form. The solution is sine B is equal to B times sine A over A. Multiply each side by B then. Side B, sine B is equal to 12 times sine 42 B over 22. So we substitute A, A, and B. So this will lead us to angle B, which is 21.41 degree. Now you can determine that angle C is approximately the Answer when we subtract all the angles that is given and this e to one eighty degree. So this this we will lead us to one hundred sixteen point fifty nine degree. So then by giving side, then the remaining side is given by c over side. C is equal to A sine A. Then we get it by C is equal to A over sine A times the quantity of sine C. Multiply each side by sine C, then it will lead us to C is equal to 22 degrees. 22 over sine 42 degree times the quantity of sine 116.59 degree. Substitute for A, angle A and angle C. Then it will lead us to the side C, which is the approximate measure of 29.40 inches. So, at this moment of time, I will be giving, we will have a recall. The formula in finding the unknown angle or the side of an oblique triangle, A over sine A is equal to B over sine B is equal to C over sine C. The situation is ambiguous when given SSS or two sides in an angle that is not the include angle, the dimension may not form a triangle. Or they may form one or two. We begin by running a series of tasks 
to see how many solution it seems. Do you understand class? Yes, ma. Okay, then. Please prepare yourself. We will be having a group activity. I'll divide you into two groups and please take note of the numbers. So group A will be Matos and group B will be Palo Palo. Here is the problem for group one. Solve the triangles given A is equal to 13, I is equal to 20, and A is equal to 35. Okay, please take a screenshot of the problem. Are you done, Miss Palo Palo? Okay, that. Let's proceed to the group two. Solve the triangle in figure A, which is 25 degree. B is equal to 35 degree, and C is equal to. Forty two. Please take a screenshot. Okay, that. So, please submit it on the submission pin that I have given here. So, for your assessment, we will be having quiz. I'll I'll be giving this link on the, your Google Classroom. Please be reminded that. The link will close tonight at 12 p.m. And also, you will be having your assignment that will be submitted tomorrow. Okay. Once again, thank you, class, and have a nice day. Thank, thank you, you ma'am. Ma